Shane here with RVs of America or ROA. And I'm sitting right next to Michael. Michael? Yep. And so we actually have a new series of videos that we're going to be releasing. This is going to be your every weekly update. Uh, we're changing it up a little bit. And the reason why we want to do this is we want to engage more with you. We want to engage more with the, the people that have already ordered trailers from us. We want to engage with the people that have purchased trailers from us and for the people that are potentially going to purchase from us. And we believe this is going to be a really good uh, setup and it's going to be a cool series. We wanted to create more transparency, right? Yeah, we more transparency, to more, more time to engage with each other because that's one of the best ways to be able to make sure that we're doing what everybody wants to do. So it's not just... You know, we do this and you do that. We want to kind of fill in that gap. Let's let's start. I'm Shane. I spearhead education marketing. You know, to us, it's all about educating people and giving them correct information and letting them choose. And that's kind of what I do mostly and hopefully motivate and keep the, the guys going. And, and Michael, yep. want to introduce yep. yourself and what do you do? Yeah, I'm Michael and I, after you've been guided and you've decided on the the trailer that fits you the best then it usually moves on to upgrades and that's where our team gets involved and I help them um, provide you with the best experience on on upgrading your trailer and and making it your own and I'm good at um, breaking and fixing things too <laughs> so let's move into our segment about ROA a little bit about us our values our mission statement right yeah yeah every i mean this is super important for yourself as well as any business is to start with the end in mind and a mission statement gives you that end in mind that purpose you know if you don't have a purpose in life you're just going to fade away same with a business you have to have something greater to work towards and so our mission in rvs of america our mission statement is together we inspire others to achieve extraordinary excellence through belief, change, and progress. And like, I mean, we could talk about this for years because it yeah. took us years to develop this. Yeah, we wanted it to be something that was meaningful, that we could live by, not just at work, but at life. And and so we, so every single one of those words is packed with tons. You know, it starts with the word together, which is unity, right? Yeah. Well, you, nobody's ever achieved anything by themselves. N nothing worthwhile, usually, right? Nope. Usually it's a group of people. The very last three words that belief, change, and progress to us, it, everything is about progressing and making things better. That's where happiness comes from. Yeah, and we should have, we, we always debate whether we should have added and progress equals happiness because if you look out in the world people that are progressing doing things you know moving 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 around and getting things done in their life they seem to be happier the people that kind of seem miserable they're just not always progressing they're kind of just stagnant doing the same thing so we believe that change and progress you know lead to happiness it also makes us very innovative we're constantly changing things we're also we're, we're trying to push the envelope and and our and our products right that's the that's how we got to carrying the products that we carry let's move on to our next segment it's our roamer updates Is there anything exciting going on for the roamers in the future, Shane? Yes, there are some very exciting things. So you're going to want to definitely be involved. Uh, September 9th to the 16th, we are having the very first annual Roamer Rally. Um, and it's going to be at a place called Roamerland. And it's in a beautiful area within two hours to seven different national parks our team has been headed we've been heading down there almost somebody's been down there every week planning out where to go what to do it's because we're going to do tour guide we're going to have tour adventures to take all of our roamers on so if you're not signed up if you haven't signed up contact us we'll get you in the um in the sign up sheet and we can get you paid up so you can get to that roamer rally it's going to be a lot a lot of fun michael and i were he we're headed down there this weekend yep. to plan out some more excursions and adventures so that's going to be really fun now uh how, how about anything else what what else is new with the roamer what's a good yeah so one of the things that's really exciting for us and hopefully for you as well is hearing from other roamers 
And so time to time we get the opportunity to talk with our roamers and kind of have a sit down and chat and see what their experience has been with us as well as with whichever trailer they've purchased from us. And so a few weeks ago we sat down with Cynthia and we have a really awesome chat with her and so we just want to show you a little part of that. Can you tell us a little bit about where you're from, uh, just some background knowledge? I, you got a trailer that you tow by yourself, which is pretty awesome. Well, yeah. Yeah, right. I mean, I was really lucky. I was I was eight years old when my dad started a company in this very very small town that I lived in, and it was a trucking company that did fertilizer, and we couldn't afford a hired man, and I was a tomboy, so I ended up being the boy, and I ended up being the hired oh, man. We're trying to create a focus about like who are we at ROA and why why do you want to do business with us it's not just about the trailer I don't know no it's not just yeah. about the trailer at all I've had four new trailers over the years and I've had problems with each one of them and even though there were screw-ups because of you guys growing so fast and not having all the communication squared away this is still the best service I've ever had and so how are all the things that we have done, how are those working? Oh, it rocks. It absolutely rocks. I came here. We planned it. I had good feedback. I got here. One person was in charge of my trailer, communicated with me consistently the whole time about everything we wanted to do and whether it was done properly and if we had any changes. And I, could, and I actually added a couple things that I forgot to write down, and they're handled. Yeah. So for me, working with a company that cares is the biggest element because if I have a problem I know I can talk to you or you or you or you and it'll get fixed somebody gets on it somebody handles it somebody tells me you know yes worry about it right now I mean I'm I'm almost 70 I travel by myself you know I don't take the risks I took at your age I don't want to take the risks I took at your age I'm, I'm getting that but I still want to get out there and play and I know that if I have a problem, if you guys are in cell range, um, you can talk me through it. I'm not going to be, I'm not out there by myself. Okay, so stay tuned. Uh, we're going to release the full interview with Cynthia here in the upcoming week or so. And that was just a little preview, but let's move on to our next segment, uh, our product segment. Just so you are aware, if you're new here, we, we don't carry a thousand different brands. We try to stay a smaller amount of brands because we want to be the authorities on these brands and we want to be able to give you good information. Nothing frustrates me more than calling in a place and asking them, hey, do you know about this? And I know more about the sales guy about the product than he does. So we try to be specialists in whatever we're carrying. Our, our main brands are Explore, Black Series, Taxa, we got some exciting stuff in the works to bring on a couple other brands that we haven't officially announced yet. But um, Explore, Michael, what's going on with some of the, let's give people some updates. If you have an Explore on order, if you're looking at it, what are some of the things we want to point out about Explore? One of the unique features that Explore has that I absolutely love is its cold weather capability. It can go down to negative 40 degrees. It's amazing. I don't know if there's any other trailer out there that can go that cold. No, no, absolutely <laughs> not. There's there's some that claim that they can go to zero, but this this trailer actually can do it. Yeah, and the great thing about that amazing insulation with that capability, yeah, most people aren't going to go to negative 40. There are maybe a few out there that might, but just because of the great insulation, it's great for summertime too. Yeah. So the trailer's better insulated. It requires less to keep it cool. You just turn on a max air vent fan, which it comes with, and then you open up some windows and the trailer cools off real quick. That's how I've been doing it lately when it's been 70, 80 degrees out there. It's wonderful for that yeah, property. Absolutely. absolutely. Now, if you didn't know, the Explore, some of the updates that they've made to the new, they have two floor plans. They went started with the XR, which means Explore ramp door, and now they have the X22, which is it has just a bed. Now, uh, I think previously in some of our information, we said it was a queen bed, and I wanted to update that it's not quite a queen bed. It's actually more of closer to a full size. It's a little bit longer than a regular full, but it is the width is closer to a full. Uh, but it feels very spacious. It feels comfortable in there. Yeah, I thought it was a queen. Um, 
But so that's one thing. And one of the things that they've updated is they've gone to all lithium yep. on all of the models. So uh, lithium is now a standard feature on all the Explorers, which is really, really cool. Yeah, and the standard, just for the standard package, you have 200 amp hours and 200 watts of solar. And the ba ba battery management system is the most simple thing yeah. I've ever experienced when it comes to figuring out how much power I'm using and what my battery level is at. It literally just says 100%. Yeah. Now let's move on to uh, our Black Series product. Uh, as as you know, if you've been watching us, we are we are the the first Black Series dealer to sign up with them. I know over the last few years, uh, we've been selling more than 60% of their product in America. So we really are the authorities and the specialists on this product. One of the things that we do need to make a announcement of is we have stopped pre-ordering the Black Series. Now for a long time, we've had such a demand for the product because we've been really, we know more about the product than anybody. We upgrade it, we, we do customizations and a lot of the dealers out there don't. Some of them have started doing, which yeah, we're, cool. ha we're happy <laughs> about that because our mission statement is we inspire others to achieve extraordinary excellence. And and most dealers in the past would just say, take it as it is. And we said, no, we can be better. We can be more excellent. We can be more extraordinary, you know? And so we would do upgrades for people. So a lot of the other dealers have started doing that, which good on you. Um, that's fulfilling our mission statement to make you to do better, right? So yeah. we're happy about that. But because, because we've been really kind of leading the Black Series um, movement, I would say, in America, uh, we've always had more people wanting to buy than we could, than Black Series could deliver to us, right? So we've always had this lead time that's, well, we're like, at one point, <laughs> we're over six months to get stuff in here because we're selling, you know, for every 30 units that we sell, we could only get 10 or 15 in a month, right? So we have stopped is because we want to catch up on that. Now we've also, another reason why we stopped um, pre-ordering them, because Black Series over the last two years has been super consistent with the product. You know, the product has come in, you know, black leather, uh, Dometic water heaters, uh, Dometic furnaces, uh, lights and everything, right? Lately, some of the trailers rolling in, they've changed out the leather to white leather. You know, they've changed, they've deleted some of the lights and, and other various items. They've changed out components from Dometic to these no-name brand Chinese products that we don't know about. We don't, we don't have all of the information. They, they might be better in some ways that, you know, it's an on-demand opposed to a tank. So it's a tankless, which is cool, but you know, we just can't, um, we don't feel it's right to pre-order something. It's because to us, it's all setting expectations for people, right? Yeah, definitely. You want somebody if they're if they're going to order something, they expect it to come a certain way, and so we can't do that, you know. Um, so that that is so. Stay tuned for that. We're, you know, if you come and look at our lot, we got tons of Black Series unit. For those who have units on order right now, they're coming in pretty rapidly. I I mean, I I would say we're sometimes getting one to two units a day landing, which is really exciting. Um, so those. Should, we should be getting all those all fulfilled and caught up to current stock type of units really fast. So we're excited about that. Um, Taxa, the whole RV industry is really struggling to get the ute product. Yep. Yeah, right? Taxa is struggling just to get them out as well, you know. And they, they have their standardized um, appliances and things that go on there. And so since there's been delays with all the COVID stuff, they've delayed delivering us trailers as well because they're waiting to get their stoves and their air conditioners and all that type of stuff. Yeah, and they're not changing. They they feel like they found the products that they like and they believe in, so they haven't been changing that, so they're just waiting, right? Yep. So there's a lot of people that have orders in for those and it's just it's it's a waiting game, right? Yep. And and nobody has control over all of these delays really. Maybe somebody does, but <laughs> it's definitely um a, been a waiting game. Now Michael New, new products. Do we have any new products right now? Oh, well, soon. <laughs> We're working on them. Uh, there's one that I'm extremely excited about. Uh, you may have heard of it. I'm not going to tell you what it is. Oh, if you are an off-roader, you have heard of it. Yes, you, you would have had heard of it. Uh, but extremely excited for it. Extremely capable off-road trailer. 
And I am going to be, once we get that, I'm going to start a series of showing how capable it is and going and tackling some of the hardest trails in America. In America, yeah. Oh, yeah, exciting. Uh, I have another, uh, there's another company. We're actually going to, uh, I actually flew out to meet with the distributor in America, and we're, we're in the works of potentially signing and carrying this product. You know, we don't want to really necessarily say who these product lines are yet until we know for sure we've signed paperwork and we're carrying it and then we can start selling it. Uh, very, very cool company. You know, to us, the biggest thing that we've been focused on is, is we want an, an awesome product and it has to be off-road capable, but also we want the, the company to align with our values, our culture, you know, uh, our mentality is, you know, roamers first, right? Customers first, clients first, people that buy, the end user needs to be the number one focus, right? And so, so I went out to meet with this company, meant to, went out to meet with the uh, distributor, the owner of this company in the US, and uh, really, really excited about this product. As a matter of fact, we got a little bit of us headed out there. We'll uh, cue that. Early, Shane, what are we up to? Headed off to uh, meet with a new manufacturer. So super, super excited. We'll see how it goes. We gotta meet the people. Uh, people are most important and then see the product. Of course we wanna carry good product, but we wanna work with awesome people more than anything else. So we're gonna go meet the distributors in the US and take a look at what they got. So, Super excited. Where are we at now? We are at the airport. This is a brand new airport. We're trying to find a better product for our roamers. So we, Jordan and I, we were talking about how we're all about progress. It's a relentless pursuit of perfection. A relentless pursuit to innovate and the reason we could be satisfied with what we have. We could be okay with just carrying the same things and not improving because quite frankly, we're, we're, we're getting a lot of requests and orders for uh, trailers for the campers that we currently have. But we also feel like there's some potential issues and, and we just wanna be able to always be moving forward and progressing and, and making sure that we're you know, on this pursuit to find better, 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 and better. And that's what we're doing. That's why we're here. We just made it to Atlanta, Georgia, and we're getting on a connecting flight to go somewhere else. We're not gonna tell you where it's at because that would give, give it away. So it's gonna stay kind of anonymous. If things look good, we'll let you know. It's gonna be fun. We're really excited, so wish us luck. We've arrived. I don't know. Where the hell do I am? It's hot. It's really important to always be progressing and growing. That's not just personally and as a company wide, but it also goes with our product. If our product, if we don't feel like all of our products are always growing and getting better and better and better over time. If you've watched our videos, you know we take trailers and we upgrade them, we make them better. So they always come in and we always think, what can we do to make them better? But we also wanna work with manufacturers that think the same way as us. And we're super excited. We're gonna go and meet these guys. Hopefully they have some of those same similar passions about you know innovation and, and, and constantly making things better. Because if we find somebody that's like that, it's gonna be a really great relationship to be able to grow, not not just us, but also them, their company. It, to me, it's beneficial for everybody at the end of the day. So let's get inside and let's go drive. Okay, hey everyone, we have made it. Come on over, we're gonna head inside. This is all blurred out because we don't want you to know where we're at. This is still, we can't reveal it until we know for sure we're working with them. So 
We're meeting them first, and then we're going to decide. We've been in the trailers, looking at them, seeing how everything works. The suspension, high-end, tires, the materials, Corian, solid surface countertops, lithium is stock, air compressor is stock. Chargers, DC to DC stock, solar panels stock. They actually use these really, really high-end solar panels. This is, they have some prototypes that you can put on your vehicles. They put these on the trailer themselves. They're made for military-grade solar panels. Even the furnaces and the ACs, they're all premium brands and premium names. It's not the cheapest one you can buy in the market. Like I said, we're not revealing too much. Back to the main episode. Yeah. Would have been. I wish I could go too. <laughs> <laughs> I know, and I'm so sorry if you just watched that. I know we literally gave nothing away, and that was the point. It was to tease you and give you some cliffhangers, and and we're going to share more information. If you want to, you can make some comments below and see and try to guess at what it is or who it is. But we're not. Lips are sealed. Lock and tie key in the trash. <laughs> uh, but stay tuned. Subscribe. These two new product lines that we're bringing on, we're super, super excited for. Uh, Michael, have you been working on anything that needs to be uh, changed or improved? Every day. <laughs> Every day. <laughs> so yeah, I got I got a lot, great long list so, of ideas. So moving into our uh, mod uh, yeah. segment, right? Yep. Yep. Yeah, so we got lots of mods working on for every trailer. I got a, a, a good list for Explore and Taxa, a lot of requests for certain things. The one that I'm working on right now is really exciting. It's in the bathroom on the Explore. Uh, a lot of people wish there was more room, so I've doubled pretty much the size of space. Did you did you cut the wall and extend the wall out or you something? Know, a whole new whole new front end. No. <laughs> wow. No, I'm, not at all. I'm didn't, I didn't. I did not have to do anything to the walls or toilets or anything of you the sort. You made it twice the size. This sounds impossible. Yep. Lots I'm of, excited. Lots of leg space, lots of elbow space. Well, stay tuned for that. Once again, this, this video is going to be coming uh, live in the next week or so. As far as our adventure series, you know, here at ROA, it's not just about selling trailers. It's about using trailers. It's about using trailers. It's about camping. Yeah, we're always trying to go out camping, literally, like you said. Been, I've been down to Romerland exploring almost every weekend with my family. And a few weeks ago, we went out as an entire company just to go camping for over over the weekend we try to require you know the guys here to go on camping because we want to be the authority on the, these products and we believe that the way you can truly understand the product is by using it you know um most of us own trailers here right so to us it's so 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 important to use and camp and go on adventures but but we're we're always actually trying to this segment this adventure series segment um we're going to be trying to throw in ideas of where you can camp what you can do and things to see we're also going to have our some roamer adventures in there of course, the Romer Rally is coming up, but we also are going to be, we have already done Romer Adventures where they're smaller groups, and stay tuned for more of that stuff. So let's move on to our next segment. We got our questions and answers. Q&A. Q&A. So we get a lot of questions. We pulled a bunch of questions off of YouTube as well as just most commonly asked questions, and, and we this is the time to comment so that we can get more questions for the next time as well. Yeah, so if you have any more questions, we've, like you said, we've pulled some from emails and we also have a, a exclusive Roamer text, tech line. And so we get a lot of our Roamers asking questions and we're like, hey, that's a good question. Maybe we should reply for all of our Roamers. But one of the questions that we get all the time, Michael, is uh, uh, how do I properly store my my trailer without ruining my batteries 
That's important. When you got thousands of dollars in batteries, you definitely don't want to kill them, especially if it's brand new. You know, you just got it. So depending on your trailer is going to depend somewhat on that answer sometimes. But the main thing is, number one, you always want to be monitoring your batteries, no matter what. Even if it's plugged in or if you have solar, whatever the case is, you want to check your batteries periodically, you know, every couple of weeks or every month. You can set a reminder so you can do that. And then the other part is, so in the case that you do have solar panels, which most of our off-grid, off off-road trailers have solar panels. So if you have solar panels and you're parked outside and you got sun, you don't have it parked un under something, then you know you're going to be getting a charge from that solar panel. So all you need to do is make sure that all the power's turned off so you're not draining anything and the solar's going to keep your batteries up. If you park in a stored area, then you're going to want to make sure that you plug in your trailer and for example some trailers are charging with an inverter so you got to make sure you turn on your inverter so that it charges the batteries and in that case again you're still going to be wanting to monitor your yeah batteries I, all I, the time yeah i think the key is you know i i always tell people you the two biggest pain points of um trailer camper ownership the rv life is user air and user negligence right user error usually comes from not knowing how to do things properly user negligence comes from just neglecting your product neglecting the roof and not resealing it with batteries you know this tends to be the most common thing for a brand new um, camper owner is they don't know how to properly uh, take care of their batteries and they end up replacing them every year you know it's because in the winter it just it it, it dies and I, I always say you know it's like your car if you had a car parked next to your house and you didn't turn it on for six months the odds of your car starting after six months is very 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 low so usually what you do is you go out once a month and you fire it up and let it run for a little bit same with a motorcycle or a boat you know or or an rv right you gotta you really gotta mon you gotta monitor them and, and i i personally i i send an email to myself for the fifth of every month and I, and it pops in my inbox and i go and check my trailer and the the funny thing is sometimes when i go out and check it I find another issue with it. The, the batteries are good. And I'm like, oh, wow, that's an issue. I didn't see that. So it's always good just to go out and monitor your thing. But like Michael said, solar is going to keep it. If it's not on, if it's not where it's getting the sun, you know, um, you have to have it plugged in. But good rule of thumb is just always being watching it. Um, another question. What's your thoughts on the hydraulic suspension on the Explore? Yeah, that's a good question. So I've taken it all over, took it. 4,000 miles, taken on a Baja trip, been out to um, St. George down in some sand dunes and over to Little Moab doing some off-roading. So, like, we've definitely seen it in action. And it is very, very strong and sturdy. Yes. And it's very reliable. I was speaking with the owner of the Explorer of the company and they said that over 13 14 years that they've been putting that suspension on their trailers they haven't had any f major failures so it's very reliable and that that's one of the reasons they really love it and then the other part's really awesome is that you can lift up the hydraulic suspension so when you're trying to clear obstacles and then you can lower it down for when you're traveling on highway yeah, it tows really good in the lower position, and it has it actually surprisingly has a lot of clearance in the high, <laughs> in the in the in the upper position. Now, I would say the only thing is it is a little bit stiffer of a suspension. The Black Series has the uh, A arm, you know, independent suspension with gas and coil. That that suspension, I think, rides better down the road um, for it sure. Does. But the Explorer overall, the suspension that lift up and down is really cool. Uh, and and the trailers, we haven't really had any problems with these trailers. It's really the nice. quality control <laughs> has been phenomenal. We're like, it's so so nice to get these trailers and then have zero problems. And then they leave, and the people that are buying them have zero problems. Yeah, I don't hear too often, which is sad because I like talking to people. Yeah, we like talking <laughs> to them. Some of, some of these trailers that we sell, it's like we get a phone call every single day and we become buddies. Unfortunately, it's like to fix the problems on their trailer, yeah. but it's like... but And sometimes it's just the how to operate it. Yeah, know? a like, lot of it's how to operate. And with, like we said before, the Explorers are so simple. 
Yeah. That that's there's true. not much to ask. It's just you flip the switch on, it tells me it, how much my battery it's is. Very, it's very simple. Very simple. It's and very, easy. very cool. Take a moment to go down, make some comments, and ask some questions below, and we'd love to answer them. That's the whole reason why we wanted to start doing these series, is because it gives us the opportunity to engage with you, right? It gives us this opportunity to, you know, say, you know, if somebody says, hey, you know, I've been wondering this. Make the comment and we'll we'll get to it and we'll respond right back to you. Thank you so much for watching. We we really, really appreciate all of our first and foremost, our roamers. The people that have decided to work with us. We we are in business because of people like you and we really, really sincerely appreciate that and uh we i i always say we'll move heaven and earth for our roamers right we yes we people do. that people that you know it's it's definitely been frustrating for some people when it's like it's a six month wait time you know i can go buy my trailer somewhere else and i say you know what that's okay but uh you know the people that decide to work with us and wait that time i i i feel like we have an obligation to truly truly give them a phenomenal experience and we really appreciate you and hope we don't you know let you down and that's our goal and we have the we're excited for all the fun adventures that are coming up you know our and the rally so definitely get on that and thank you for watching yeah you know. subscribe like the video and and hit that notification so you can see all these videos coming out we have so many exciting things coming oh yeah